Good day, it is Stephen Davids here and in this video I will discuss generic versus uh, unique resources as they apply to project management programs. In specifically I will address it as it is uh, in relation to Project Libre. Generic source uh, is something big, it's generic name president, president, a unique resource. Is maybe you go to prison, go deeper, President Obama, President Bush, prison. Generic resource, a generic type bodyguard, for example. And then you, what's the unique? Sandra, who's the specific name, unique, who how they are. A generic source, for example, a car, unique. The BMW 520i with that registration number, Mercedes that. 2017 model was a registration number. So these are the types of resources generally you get. A generic resource, resources are distinguished in many terms, in ways, but one way is in terms of generic and also unique. Generic resource can be people, it can also be things. The implication of generic resources and uh, unique resources are that you can commit more than one generic resource uh, to a task. For example, you can commit three presidents, X presidents, whatever presidents, five teachers can do a thing, four cars can can ride a, a ride in a, co a, a convoy, eight classrooms can be needed for a specific task. A generic thing and you input it not as one but as not as two, but as 200%. Not as three, but as 300% if you want to have more than a specific generic resources. The, however, uh, on the, uh, contra uh, on the uh, other side of the coin is that you cannot commit more than one unique resource or material uh, resource if it's a unique resource to a task because you only get one unique thing. For example, two Obamas can't work on the same project at the same time. There is something wrong. Don't get two unique classrooms. Uh, I say cannot in brackets because garbage in, garbage out. You can, um, of course, input it, but then it is an overlook allocation of resources. And for resource management is that uh, a generic resource can be more than 100%, more than one, but it must be lesser than the amount available. Otherwise, you, it's over allocation. If you have only five things, five cars, you put it as 500%, and it mustn't be more. For uh, unique resources, if a unique resource is bigger than 100, it means uh, either person must work overtime, because an individual Obama can't see um, Blair in London and Washington uh, for Trump. At the same time, you can't do it. Maybe things are double booked uh, by mistake. Now, how do you indicate a resource as being unique or generic? I already put up three resources obama the bodyguards and also the car you go then just i just double click on the resource in the under the resource tab i just double click on the resource uh, to get the resource information box and then you get here on the general tab you get here generic i did not uh, uh, tick it because Obama is a unique resource and of course he's a work resource because he's a human being. If I click on the bodyguards, there are seven bodyguards and the bodyguards are generic because it's a generic title for a group consisting of people. And I just put there in, how many do I have? Resource availability. I did put it here on 700. You can put it. I've got six um, bodyguards available. I've got seven bodyguards or eight. But in this case, I did put in seven. Then uh, the car. I like the car. And then the car is a generic 
a resource. It's also uh, because it's equipment. You put it under work resource, generic. And then how many cars do I have? I did put in three there. And there I put there 300 because I've got three cars available for the project. To see if the, pro uh, the resources are over allocated or not and correctly allocated, you then follow the normal procedure how to interpret the histogram and uh, there it is. I will not pay attention to the histogram at this stage because uh, um, I do pay attention to it in another video. Thank you very much for watching this video. We do like constructive comments and criticism. Please like and share this video.